Podcast, Catch Cat Podcast, we back. Over 10,000. <laughs> 10,105, I think, to be exact. Yes. We just got 100 new subscribers. Yes. Thank you, Over 10,000, over 10,000, over 10,000, over 10,000. 10, <laughs> hey, man, look, man, we on the roll, man. Our super chats are still down, man. Just want to let y'all know, you know, YouTube is out here bugging. You know what I'm saying? So if you guys want to donate to the Sketchpad podcast, it's no problem. All y'all got to do is go inside the description box and donate to the Cash app or the PayPal. Some people did, you know, and if you don't have no money to donate, that's cool. It's fine. Just share the content. Hey, second video about meatball. Who raised you? Oh my god, this is so hard. Oh my god. That last bar was crazy. Oh my god. Uh, children are too young to make those type of choices for themselves, you know? That's why they have parents. Oh, eat each other. What? Yo, I can't, can't understand it neither. One um one thing before we get started on the segment, right? We do have a Twitter and we do have an Instagram. I already told you about the Facebooks, but we do have a Twitter and we have an Instagram. So please follow us on those platforms. They are in the description box as we speak. And we're going to start posting them on the videos itself so then you can see them and automatically go follow them you know what i'm saying yeah we will we're gonna be in them spaces too we're gonna be in them spaces all right man so look man so anna Kasparian, pretty white girl by the way i think she's cute um she has came out and said she's tired of what's going on and we're going to watch what she has to say about Meatball and Meatball's lawyer. And then we're going to come back and discuss. So let's get into it, man. Um, and prosecution, simply because she happens to be a black woman, is ridiculous. And yet another example of providing cover for illegal behavior, bad behavior, by using and weaponizing race. And it's disgusting. It's disgusting when it happens, and I'm sick of it. And the reason why I'm so angry about this at this point is because, honestly, our side of the political aisle loves to provide cover for it, and I, th I find it gross, and I'm done doing it. I'm done, I'm done trying to be understanding toward that perspective. I'm not understanding anymore. It is destroying communities. It is mostly victimizing majority black and brown communities. Stores are shutting down, people are losing their jobs, and then you have these wannabe revolutionaries streaming day in and day out, providing cover for this garbage. I'm not into it. It's stupid, and I'm glad she got arrested. Great. Oh, <laughs> hey man, listen, man. I'm just gonna say this out, out just outright, man. This is this this goes beyond the reach of just meatball. You know what I'm saying? Let's be clear here, right? This is what y'all asked for. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Shout out to Anna. Shout out to Anna for saying how she felt and she's tired of it. But we've been saying this forever. Mm -hmm. And now y'all starting to see it because mm -hmm. y'all provided cover for these people when things happened. I remember when the cities was burning. When they was they was looting and said, "Oh, well, people were upset." You gotta understand. It's it's it. When they when they upset, people break the burn. So I say, let the system burn. I seen the vice president say, "Let the system burn." The vice president said that. You know what I'm saying? So when you got people saying stuff like that, they thinking it's okay. You know what I'm saying? So when she come out and say this, I commend her for it. Don't get me wrong, I commend her. But at the same time. It's like, okay, people been saying this forever. 
And now all of a sudden, when is it gonna what is it gonna take? You know what I'm saying? For people to do this. Like, and again, I want to say this to black people. Stop using other people's deaths to steal Jordans, to steal iPhones, to steal liquor. You're not you're not a revolutionary. You're not. Only thing you're doing is getting the system up. That's it. That's all you're doing. You ain't doing nothing that can actually help anybody. And people like Meatball, who's an influencer who literally has thousands and thousands of followers on TikTok and on Instagram. People like that. I'm listen, I'm all for free speech. Don't get me wrong. I'm I would never tell you you can't say this. You could call me a name. That's fine. But what I don't like is the fact that people on that side, they don't criticize people who clearly do stuff. But they always going after other people. So it is what it is, man. Shout out to Anna for, the, for that. Uh, appreciate that. Uh, first of all, uh, Anna was was accurate on what she stated. She was definitely on point with that. And um, I'm happy that she said that because they do use it as a scapegoat to cover up the mistakes that these young people make, these old folk make, and everybody in general make. They always use that. They always use racism as a cover up. Never in years have I seen racism used so much in everything and everything is not racist not everything is racist mm -hmm. like why is it every time something happens with a black person let's be correct with a black person it always gotta be racist mind you there is things out there that happens with black people and it's racist but when you start masking things that are not racist with the term racist, it covers up the real issues of racism. It covers mm -hmm. it up. Yep. So now people can't tell which one is which because every time we call, every time something happens, it's always, it's all oh, you being racist, you being racist. It's sort of like when the boy cried wolf, oh, 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 oh screaming and shouting and whatever. And then the next thing you know, there ain't no wolf there until one day the wolf came down. And what happened? What happened to that little boy? He got eight. He was done. Finished. Gone. It's the same thing. So why can't we just call it for what it is? The young girl was being stupid. Simple as that. You know what I'm saying? There ain't no way else to pull it. She was being stupid. She was being ratchet. Why can't we just call it for what it is? We need to start calling our own people out and telling them what they're doing that's wrong. There ain't nothing revolutionary about you being on TikTok. We all got to eat. We all got to eat. Pointing the camera, showing the whole world who you are, showing what's going on in the background. So, of course, the cops are going to think that you're a part of it. You're right there in the midst of it. You don't think the cops look at Instagram? You don't think the cops look at Facebook? They looking for people just like you, Meatball. They looking for people just like you. They don't care if you was a part of it or not. Like, come yeah. on, man. Like, stop being dumb. Like, stop looking for these things to get your view count up. Be a real revolutionary. You want to be a revolutionary? Be a real one. Start talking about social issues. Start doing things that really help the community. That ain't helping the community. That's making it worse. What is stealing a bunch of Jordans going to do for, for the community? What is that going to do? Just make another bunch of young people steal some more Jordans. Just make, It's going to make it seem like it's okay. It's not okay. It's not okay. Cause then what if you had got popped on camera? Then what? Then what? You know what the cops gonna say? Oh, 
We thought she was a part of it. We thought we were a part of it. We warned her. She didn't listen. They didn't. They don't even have to say nothing else after that. All they gotta do is look at the footage. Well, it does look like she's in the midst of everything. Well, it does look like she's being defiant. There you go. Escape, slap on the wrist, don't do it again. What, six months suspension for the cop? He gets his job, goes back to work after the six months. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man. Keep, keep acting foolish. I mean, yeah, you're right, man. And um, hey, man, it's, it's become normalized. So most of these people, they're gonna, they're gonna act the way they act because they think it's normal. And you got lawyers out here to defend it. So, hey, man, listen, man, Sketchpad, we out of here. Peace, see y'all. Bye bye. Good night.